All right, algebra students, let's look at unit six, lesson 16, graphing from vertex form. So our lesson goals are, I can graph a quadratic function given in vertex form, showing a maximum or minimum and the y-intercept. So we should be able to use our vertex form to identify whether we have a maximum or minimum. We should also be able to figure it out and we should be able to go through the process of determining what the y-intercept is using the equation. I know how to find a maximum or a minimum of a quadratic function given in vertex form without first graphing it. So we want to be able to figure out what is that maximum or minimum, that vertex of vertex form, but we want to do it without looking at a graph. All right, our vocabulary is vertex. Remember, our vertex is where a graph starts decreasing, then changes directions and starts increasing, or vice versa, where it's increasing, changes direction, and goes decreasing. Vertex form is a times x minus h squared plus k. A maximum is the highest point of a graph. This is in quadratics, the vertex and the minimum, the lowest point of a graph, and then in other quadratics, this is the vertex. So we have two possible things that the vertex could be. It could either be a maximum or a minimum based off of the equation. All right, so our warm-up is expressions in different forms can be used to define the same function. Here are three ways to define a function f. So I have three forms of function f, standard form, factored form, and vertex form. All of these would give the exact same graph, but each one highlights a different feature of the graph. So we have f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3, standard form. f of x equals x minus 3 times x minus 1, factored form. f of x equals x minus 2 squared minus 1, vertex form. Which form would you use if you want to find the following features of the graph of f? Please explain your reasoning. So if you wanted to find the x-intercepts, which of these three forms would you use and why? If you want to find the vertex, which of the, these three forms would you use and why? And if you want to find the y-intercept, which of these three forms would you use and why? Please bring your answers to these three questions to class tomorrow. That will start our discussion. Thanks.